Sunday morning, third day of our holiday, and we're just setting out on a gloriously sunny day. There's not one cloud in the sky, and it's really, really warm, and there is no wind at all, well, at the moment anyway, until we go out of the bay. And we're going to set off north of Arasig now, up to hopefully Silver Sands. The water underneath is amazing, you all think. Look at the kelp. I love that kelp. Usually we're walking on this bit and the tide is right in. It's still only about two foot of water, so we need to always be careful we're not going to hit some rocks. It's like a mill pond at this bit. Constantly you've got to be on your guard because there's all rocks underneath and they just come up on you really fast. And some of them are hidden under the huge amounts of kelp. So it's a bit of go slow here just to make sure we can get through. We are literally in inches of water. Just cutting through all these little scaries. I love this. All the oyster catchers are on the, the rocks beside us. Guys, just testing if I can get through here because we're not sure. Otherwise we'll have to go right around. So we can't get through, so we're going to have to go back and just go around these rocks. The water's deeper here, so we'll get through, no problem. And there is the most fantastic beach over there with sand dunes that we're going to come round to. It looks absolutely amazing. Going through that little bit was great, wasn't it? Tell us about it, your little thing. Hold on, wait a minute. I'll put it upside to you, you yellow creature. We've had our breakfast. Yes. And we set off. Yeah. It is now 20 past 10 in the morning. Yeah. And we're heading up the coast. Look, look how beautiful it is. It's absolutely stunning. The last time we did this, it was huge wind. Yeah. And today it's really peaceful and warm. Tranquil, my love. Tranquil. Let's go for it. Get watched over But again, I don't think we're going to stop because we're going to head on up towards Malig to the Silver Sands Beach, which is going to be quite spectacular. But we've got to get there before the tide goes out so that we can go up quite far. just landed on a beautiful little beach and we're going to go and have a nice cup of tea and a biscuit before we go right much further down there it's beautiful it's absolutely incredible incredible so you see the water all glistening like that it's so beautiful isn't it We've had the morning coffee and now we're going to head into Mora, down to the Silver Sands. We're kayaking now, just about to go under the bridge, which is the main road between Arasig and Malig. And we won't be able to go too far up here because I can see some white water from the, the weir so we need to be really, really careful because our boats are not meant for 
this kind of kayaking. Wow. On you go, you wee thing. On you go. Go for it. And you get to the rapids. I'm not finished. Listen, just go round and then go into it. Do you know what I mean? Don't go in sideways. On you go. Over there, we see a bear. Yeah, why not? Turn around and get the back of my boat then. <laughs> <laughs> you wear it up, I can't move. I can't get over there. You can. <laughs> Honestly, I am paddling like mad. <laughs> Shorts and things. What about the other Wednesday? Yes, you've got that in there. <laughs> There's a towel in there as well. It's a towel, it? yeah. It was easier to take you into shore. It was, it was, so we did the right thing, you know. But that's because we were near shore. Yes. Well, that was an experience. I hope I caught that on video. So a guy just went in the drink in three seconds flat. I think you got a bit cocky. You what? I think you got too cocky. I was in the midst of the rapids, you mean? <laughs> you were not in the midst of the rapids. <laughs> to be honest, see when you did it, I wasn't sure whether it was deliberate or not. Do you think it, honest? I wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, I swear it was 
funny. So how did it yeah. feel to <laughs> capsize in River Mora? <laughs> I did it the Webber way. <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> the Webber way to see how you'd re react to an emergency situation. And did I not come and rescue you? You did it amazing. I canoed downstream so that I didn't make the same mistake as you. And then I came back upstream for you and then dragged you to shore. <laughs> it was the funniest <laughs> thing out. <laughs> This is a serious situation. <laughs> for the record, could you explain to us in your own words what exactly happened from your... Guy got too cocky and he ended up turning into the wave and tipping over and into the drink. Soaked because he didn't need to do his dry suit up properly either after his last stop. And I had to tow him to shore. Brave me towing that big man to shore. And, and the kayak, him and the kayak. Yes, it was hard work, I must say. Were you worried and concerned? No. <laughs> yeah, for me, having to drag, drag the heavy weight. <laughs> stop it, stop it. Look at that beautiful view, Ted. <laughs> Look at this beautiful kayak. I'm interested in any view. There's about half a ton of water in the kayak. <laughs> You shameful little thing. Right enough. <laughs> Tea time. <laughs> okay, we're back in the water again after the guys capsized. We had a wee cup of tea, lots of sugar and a biscuit. And he's dried off into new clothes. And we're going to launch again and head back down towards our campsite near Harris Egg. It's such a fantastic day. There's still no clouds in the sky. The sun is shining. It's actually really, really warm. Okay, new battery in the camera. Guys in the water. And we're going to head back out before the tide goes out too much and we can't get through. Okay, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to film the kelp under the water. sandy white beach and here the cars right above us silver sands beach and it is absolutely stunning that's the beautiful beach really really pretty this whole bay is literally in four inches of clear water. If we get out, it would be barely up to our ankles. It's amazing. And it's yet to go out even more and become a sandbank, which is why we need to get out now before the tide goes completely out. Otherwise, it's a long walk with two heavy kayaks. Wow, look, another little beach. And there's a couple of kayaks on the beach, so they've probably gone for a walk up in the little hills behind. I love it when we come between these wee channels. I'm not sure whether you can actually get through or not. Oh, look at the oyster catchers all in the rock. It's fantastic, you little thing. We're almost back at the campsite and we're coming up the little estuary and it's only inches deep so we're trying to see how close we can get so that we don't have to go and get the wheels for the, the kayak if we can get them as close to the beach as we can. It's our lovely camper van straight ahead. Such a fantastic setting. It's as difficult kayaking in inches as it is in the deep sea. Just being wary not to get grounded. <sighs> I'm absolutely shattered now. Oh, that's it. That's as far as we can go. 
Oh wow. Beautiful heron just took off. That's as far as we're going. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> 